In this video, we're going to cover standard deviation. We're going to look at what it is, what the point of it is, and how you can use it in Power BI. All of that and more. So without further ado, let's get started. Hi, my name is Fernan, and welcome to the Solutions Abroad YouTube channel, where we cover tips, tricks, and best practices when working with Power BI. I upload new videos every week, so make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell icon to get notified when a new one is out. So standard deviation is essentially a way to measure how scattered your values are from the average. Let's have a look at this data here, which shows the test scores of our students out of 100. I've just added a reference line here to show what the average test score is across all of our students. And the standard deviation is essentially looking at all of these values and how far they are from the mean on average. Using standard deviation in Power BI is actually pretty simple because you actually have a function that you can start using straight away. So let's do that. So let me just create a new measure here and I'm gonna just call it standard deviation. And then from here, we're gonna use stdev.p. And then we're gonna just open and close that. We're gonna choose the test score, which is essentially the scores that we're looking at uh, in our bar chart at the moment. And if we hit enter here and put this value in a card, this tells us the standard deviation of all the scores across all of our students. So now that we have the standard deviation for our test scores, what does it actually tell us? So the results of the standard deviation essentially tells us how scattered our values are. A good rule of thumb is that if your standard deviation is low, it means that your values tend to be close to the mean or average. And the vice versa is true. The higher the standard deviation is, it means that your values tend to be more scattered from the average. So let's have a look at this example. So let me just uh, go to my reference line here and just show my data label for my average here, which is 87. What I've done is I've actually created another table, uh, this one in another page, and it has a slightly different uh, range of values. But if we add an average line here, you will see that it also has the same average, 87. But what you'll notice is that the test scores are sort of wildly far off, or some of them are far off from the actual average compared to the first value that we looked at. So if we do the standard deviation on this table, for example, let's just create another one. stdev. And then we'll do student score. If we put this in a card, what you'll notice is that the standard deviation of this is a lot higher compared to the first one. Now, this tells us that while both of these exams have the same average, the second exam has test scores that are a little bit more scattered compared to the first one, which is what we see with the higher standard deviation. Now that you know what standard deviation is, when I was writing the standard deviation, you must have noticed that there were a few other versions of standard deviation that you could use. So I'm just going to create a new measure here just so that we can go back to it. And then if I start writing the standard deviation here, you can see that there are four different options here, but in fact, there's only two different versions of standard deviation that we have here. The P, population or S, which is sample. So by default, if you're using standard deviation in Power BI and you have the full data set of what you're analyzing, you should be using the P version of this standard deviation. This means that the standard deviation calculation takes into account the whole population that you give it. So in our example, if we only have eight students in our class, for example, and this is what we are analyzing the standard deviation on, it it's what we will need to be using this, the P version of standard deviation. However, if you're analyzing a sample size of your data set using standard deviation, you want to be using the S version of the standard deviation. It just changes up the calculation a bit to take into account that you're only analyzing a sample set of your whole population. So it does some inference, and I'm not gonna pretend that I know what the calculation does, but generally speaking, if you know that you are using a sample set of data and you want to calculate standard deviation, you want to be using the S version. 
So in our example, we have eight students that we have test scores of, but let's say we have 30 other students in our class and we only have the test scores for eight and that's what we're analyzing. That means that we're only analyzing a sample set size of our whole population. And in this case, if we want to use standard deviation, we want to use the S version. And apart from that, there are two other versions of the standard deviation that you can use, uh, which is suffixed by the X. So the X versions of your function means that they are the iterator versions of your, you know, your normal functions. So think of some X, max X, and it basically allows you to just adjust the context of what you're calculating. So in this case, you might want to adjust what table you're analyzing it on, or you might want to analyze standard deviation based on an expression. Using the iterator versions of these will help you do those. And that's really it for this short video. I hope you now know what standard deviation is and how you can start using this in Power BI. Thanks for watching. As usual, give this video a like if you found it useful. Give it a dislike if you didn't so not to do better for next time. Ask your questions in the comment section box below so I can help you and you can help others. If you like this video, we have a Patreon page where you can support the channel and get exclusive perks like early access, demo files, and credits at the end of these videos. Thanks again for watching and see you in the next one. Bye-bye.